Now, the dispute between Johansson and ChatGPT has once again uh, brought up a larger topic, AI impersonating the likeness of real people. This is a topic legal experts and those who make livings on their voice and likeness are following very closely. ABC 7 News reporter Zach Fuentes with more on exactly what's at stake here. Want to send someone a message from Oprah Winfrey? It could be as easy as clicking a link. Websites like this have countless celebrity voices to choose from. You select a voice like Oprah's, type whatever you want her to say, and type whatever you want her to say, and voila. The, the technical phrase for this is called voice cloning, where if you have a sample of your voice or someone else's voice, it uses algorithms to emulate your voice, and by just using a simple text prompt, you can create a voice in any way you like. And uh, that's extremely uh, uh, dangerous. Among those most fearful of the potential dangers of rapid advancing AI are working actors, including many in the Bay Area, closely watching a Scarlett Johansson story unfolds. Robert Chestnut, now vice president of the local SAG-AFTRA chapter, was one of many actors on strike last year, protesting in front of Netflix's Los Gatos headquarters. One of the biggest asks of actors during negotiations was protections against AI use by major studios. For our our image, um, our personalities, our voice, our charm, uh, you know, we just need that protection. Otherwise, we're lost. Though AI was not used to replace the voice of Scarlett Johansson, OpenAI says another actress's voice was used. Legal experts say there is existing law that can come into play. Whether it's AI or another individual that sounds like you um, should not be particularly meaningful legally. If OpenAI is using AI to generate an imitation of Scarlett Johansson's voice, they could still be liable for that imitation. Laws protecting celebrities vary state by state, but federal law protecting everyone is in the works. When we talk about things like deep fakes and AI impersonation of everyday people like you and I, um, that might be a little further along and we'll need the legislator to catch up to that. Because it's still relatively simple to use technology to impersonate a voice or image, Lawler said there are several bills pending in the Senate and House that aim to address AI impersonation. In the South Bay, Zach Fuentes, ABC 7 News.